Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, as you are probably aware, you may not be, the last few weeks I've had a sore throat and it does escalate at times where it gets really sore. I can't talk, I lose my voice. So please understand why I haven't been doing a video every day because some days I do need to rest my voice. That's one reason why today there's going to be no tarot. Tarot will be done tomorrow, okay? So on Wednesday last week, I went up to the doctor and he said I needed a scan on my thyroid, which I did a video on this where I showed that I just got home from having the scan and the blood test and I showed that I had blood in my left arm, right? So today I've got the six pages of the report. Now, before I tell you what's going on with me, I want you all to sit there and res reflect on who you are. My life hasn't been what I would call breezy easy. I've had a lot of criticism. I've had a lot of negativity in my life over the past 56 years because I'm now 56 years old. And it's all in how we deal with that. When we finally work out that what other people think of us does not hurt us, it makes our life a lot easier when we don't value ourselves based on other people's value of us. The more we look within ourselves and we say to ourselves, you know what, at the end of the day, the only person who matters is me. So point to yourself and say, the only person who matters is me, M-E. The only person who I have to judge is me, because that's true in our life review after we died. Whatever anybody else thinks of us no longer matters. Removing ourselves from toxicity is not ever easy. I've already done it with two men that I was married to, as well as my daughter's husband as well. So I've had three virtual marriages in my life. I've been married twice plus engaged. And the first two were extremely negative, abusive, and most of all, downputting, putting devaluing me to the point where I thought I was worthless. So it's when we, in our brain, we stand up and we say, you know what, I really am worth more than this. I really am valued, I'm important, I'm special, I'm loved and most of all I'm treasured by the universe. One person's opinion ultimately does not matter. When we look at our eternity of our soul, we are all perfect. We are all perfection and we are all love. So the more we love, the more we create love and the more we spread love, the more things cannot hurt us. I have long said, when we look at the likes of Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, even, um, what's her name, Saint um, Teresa, all those highly notable, what I call ascended master types, they walked amongst thousands of people every day. Lepers, people with chicken pox, measles, um, German measles, highly contagious leprosy why didn't those ascended masters jesus muhammad buddha and all the rest why were they never sick themselves because it's when we raise our vibration up is when sickness cannot interfere with our frequency i was watching a lovely movie yesterday about um nikolai tesla and he actually was, um, this guy doing the show, he said there's 369, 369 frequencies. Because Tesla used three things, energy, frequency, and vibration. And when we tap into that source, which is innate, no government can ever stop us doing this, by the way. Okay, As soon as we tap into that higher frequency, sickness cannot interfere or stick with us because it simply passes through huh so why then for the last four weeks have I had an issue with my throat because I've got the test results I'm going to show you in a minute because first of all I don't want you to think I'm gloating I don't want you to think I'm ha 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 look at me not you 
I'm not doing that. I'm here doing these videos every day because I want you to feel what it's like to be angelic. The more we stop gossiping, the more we stop putting people down, the more we stop abusing people, the more we realize that every single person on this planet is worthy and deserving of our love, the more sickness cannot interfere with us. So as you sit there today and you're watching or listening to this video, think about those around you. Think about their characteristics and their personalities. And then ask yourself, how sick are they? Have I got a person in my life who's always gossiping about everybody else? And then you look at how sick they are. Have you got a person who's always on the positive side? They're always uplifting and you think, God, you make me sick. You're always so positive. And then you ask yourself, are they ever sick? I think it's time for my results, right? First thing I want to do is, because it was about my th thyroid, I want to show you my thyroid scan. So I've obviously I've cut out my information, like my Medicare card number, because that's personal information up here. I've cut out my address, the doctor's name, etc. But you can tell it's me, because I've got my name on it, Kramer, Linda, my date of birth. I'm open with everyone. I'm, a, I'm the one of the worst Pisces on the planet, March 5th, especially 66 year. Um, so you can tell that this is all my personal information. And the worst thing is here you can see it was requested on the 20th of the 10th. The request date, 20th of the 10th. Okay. And collected, um, well, today's the 23rd of the 10th. So it's the 23rd of October. So the first one is my thyroid. Um, yes, I have some thyroid nodules. Um no significant hyperamia anemia, to suggest active thyroiditis. There are several thyroid nodes scattered throughout the gland. Largest is the right lower pole with mixed solid and crystic appearances measuring up to 25 millimeters with a tiraitis, tirades, three appearance. So basically what he's told me about this is because of my bloods, which are here too, they're not cancerous. <laughs> I did not, not want to say that word. I never say the word that word, okay? So the suggestion is in 12 months, I go back and have another C, um, CT scan, okay? Now, you've got to remember here, I'm 56 years old. 56 years old. Ask yourself, how many 56-year-olds do you know? Or around that age, 55 to 60. How sick are they? Okay? So the next one is the findings from my CT scan. Look, I'm open with all my information. It's all here. There's my date. There's the date it was all requested. Okay, so I just picked it up today. Um, so I've got a right thyroid. Um, yeah, uh, I've, got, I've got, look, I'll just leave it here if you want to pause and read it. Okay, if you're a doctor and you know, because I'm not a medical doctor. Okay. So basically, I've got nodules in there, but hello, I've got a closed sinus anyway. I, I live with these nodules in my thing because I'm not a, my body is not perfect, okay? However, let's go there. Let's do the real blood test, okay? So here we go into the four pages of my blood test. Let's see. Now, first one I'm going to show you is the cumulative serum biochemistry. I'm going to just put it there so you can pause the screen and have a look at my blood. The doctor ticked it all off and said, good. Okay. Now, there is a little red dot there because I'm going to tell you. <laughs> oh, hang on. Before I go there, I'll do this one because it's my thyroid. Thyroid should be less than 4.6. Mine is 1.3. So there you go. There's the little red dot. So you can see that mine's 1.3. Okay, I think that's where I was. 1.3, that second bottom one there, 1.3. And it should be um, less than 4.6. Ah, great. Okay, so put that one over there because I don't need that one again. Okay, here's another one with all my cumulative full blood examination. So there you go. If you want to pause the screen and have a look at my blood results, <laughs> I don't care. If you're a doctor, hello, medical doctor. You're welcome to have a look. Okay. Um, yep, throw that one away. Okay, so here's one that I want to show you. My cholesterol level. Let's have a look at my cholesterol level. 
total cholesterol should be below four well this is if you're high risk my total cholesterol is 4.1 so I've highlighted it but I don't know if you can read it under there because I've just it says 4.1 okay um, so my cholesterol is 4.1 and on here well you can see it on here uh, where did I put it oh yeah here cholesterol's down here 4.1 okay so you can read across from where it says cholesterol um, one two three it's the fourth one up one two three four C H O L so one two three four up four point one okay there it is there whoops it's that one there four point one okay four point one okay now the other thing here is sugar now what's another word for sugar um i did find it <laughs> i'm not a medical doctor okay just shush just shush because my sugar levels on here as well oh god glucose here we go glucose okay so let me just put a line here from glucose all right so we've got glucose so it's the one two three four five six one down one two three four five six one down okay so there's glucose level okay glucose level sugars in the blood at 56 years old um, it should be between three and six my glucose level is 5.1 5.1 so the doctor just looked at me and he said you're 56 years old now hang on I'm just going to have a sip of my tea oh turmeric ginger saying pepper and honey a little bit of hot water to melt it I can boil the kettle and I add some coal just to make it into a tea my doctor just looked at me, showed me those results, and he said, yeah, you've got ni ni diode things on your nodules on your thyroid, but there's nothing wrong with you. How many people do you know, 56 years old, who have nothing wrong with them? I'm not gloating here, guys. I'm just telling you, I keep a high positive vibe. I don't treat people nasty. I never retaliate, hold a grudge, or do revenge acts. Um, I always consider the reaction that I do to other people's actions. Do I treat them the same as they treat me, or do I treat them how I would myself want to be treated? We've got some big lessons to learn, guys because I've just proven to you because there are so many people out there naysayers who say oh Linda where's your proof that you're okay you always tell us that you've got no blood I was diagnosed with a brain tumor now if I had that these results would show I had cancer right look at them there's nothing the top doctor just ticks them all off and he said to me there is nothing how many people can say that at 56 years old I only take one pill a day and I'm honest I take one pill a day for heartburn and that's not even a problem oh here's Mary who wants to see Mary come here where are you going where are you going come here, come here. here's Mary she's come in to say hello <laughs> she's purring I don't know if you can hit that. She's just stopped. This is Mary. You good girl. Hey, you want to go down? Go down. Oh, I've got to go and give her a hug now, guys. Because the more we love, the more we feel love, and the more we show love and make others feel love, the more we don't get sick. And I've just proven it to you all. Hope you like this video. Press the like button if you dare. Talk to you all soon. Bye.